Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Autos by Z, my name is Z. And today I have a 2022 Honda Odyssey for you guys in this beautiful black obsidian color. With everyone moving to the SUV market, vans are becoming really unpopular and people may view you as not cool if you drive a van, but I'm gonna tell you some reasons why the Honda Odyssey is in fact cool and why you should look into purchasing one. Its biggest rivals right now are the Toyota Sienna and the Kia Carnival, and there's also the Dodge, um, what's it called? Dodge Caravan <laughs> and uh, the Chrysler Pacifica. But the Honda Odyssey, in my opinion, excels in a lot of ways that we'll go over in the video. And uh, for one of the one of the reasons why is that Toyota Sienna only comes in a hybrid. Um, in my opinion, Honda Odyssey's bigger, biggest competitor right now is probably the Kia Carnival. All right guys, so let's talk about the styling of the Honda Odyssey. At first glance, the Honda Odyssey looks really futuristic. And to be honest, from the front, it doesn't even look like a minivan. It looks, it looks really cool from the front. So talking about the lights, we have LED lights in the front over here. We have the EX trim and we have LED uh, daytime running lights. If you look at the top, we have this sort of chrome piece going across. And for this, uh, for this model year, they added a grill to the Honda Odyssey. I think that gives it more of a menacing look and it makes it look angrier. Um, we have this huge Honda emblem over here. You won't confuse it with anything else. And if you come down to the bottom, this is actually where your indicators will be. And these are the fog lights going across the vehicle. It's a very clean design. Looking at the Honda Odyssey from the side, you can now you can tell this is in fact a minivan coming over here to the side. We have these sort of dark, dark finished rims. They are 18 inches. They look really fantastic on this vehicle. We have this um, warning over here. These are actually mandated. So these bigger cars need to have these so people can see that you're coming on the road, the reflectors coming this way. Looking at the mirror, we have an LED turn signal over here. We also have a camera attached to the mirror. Uh, that's a part of the Honda safety features. We have chrome door handles, and this has the lock and unlock feature if you have the uh, key in your pocket coming this way. I like how they blacked out this over here, um, and they left this chrome. It, it's, a, it's a really big vehicle, but that part right there kind of makes it look smaller. Um, coming over here on this side, Honda does a really good job at hiding their uh, door rail they actually hit it over here um, before on, on previous vans it used to be over here I know a lot of that used to get damaged and the doors used to stop working coming to the back again a very clean design this is probably where you won't, you won't notice that many differences between this model and the outgoing models again this is just a refresh we have sort of a um, back spoiler with a brake light over here, we have a shark fin antenna and we have the wiper over here. This wiper, in my opinion, should be down on the bottom to hide that, make give it a cleaner look. And we have the standard um, tail lights in the back. We have the chrome going across. Uh, the indicator is not LED and we have the Honda emblem. Looking at the bottom, we don't have any visible exhaust tips. Obviously, this is a minivan and we have the two reflectors on the back as well. Let's open the trunk. And you just push the button and then you pull it open. Uh, the Honda Odyssey does have a lot of cargo volume. It's one of the best in the class. Looking over here, let's look at the material. It is deep, so that gives you more room, more space. Okay, so this is probably where the Honda Vac would go, but in our model, we do not have that. And this is a nice place to put any um, so if you don't want rolling around in your trunk, we have more of that space over here. Um, so with the seats up, the amount of space back here is 38.6 cubic feet. If you put 
this road, the third road down, you will get 92 cubic feet. And if you put all the seats down, it's 158 cubic feet. So this vehicle is very large. All right, guys, so we popped open the hood. As you can see, we have a plastic cover. Um, it kind of looks like a trash can lid at the top over here. And then we have a prop rod to open up the vehicle. Um, this is a six cylinder engine. You have 280 horsepower. It is uh, paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. There is no turbo on this vehicle. It's naturally aspirated and that gives it a really nice driving feel. With this combination, you'll get 19 miles per gallon in the city, 28 miles per gallon in the highway. Zero to 60 times. This car is, this van is fast, 6.9 seconds. And this is forward wheel drive. All right guys, let's sit inside the 2022 Honda Odyssey. To start it up, put your foot on the brake. It's this button. Starts right up for you. First impressions when you sit in the Honda Odyssey. Um, <laughs> very large and very comfortable to say the least. Let's start with the side door panel here. We have a very nice material going across the top. I like how this is all blacked out. Even the door handle is blacked out, so it looks very nice. These are your window controls. Automatic up down for all four. Very nice. Unlock lock. Your mirror controls. Looking over here, we have that little nice ch uh, change um, pocket that we get in most cars. Over here, again, it's a very nice material. This is the EX trim. We have a nice storage area over here. Very roomy. And the side door po pocket is very big as well. Coming over here, we have uh, where you control the sliding doors from. So very easy access. This would be where you control your uh, vehicle settings from, meeting your safety settings from. And this is where you turn off the traction control. This is where your parking brake is, brake hold. And come across over here. Let's take a look. We have a digital gauge in the middle and we have um, the normal uh, gauges for the fuel and the vehicle's temperature. So very nice. Looking at the steering wheel, um, <laughs> it kind of looks like a baby that's like laying out like on the sides over here. And it's very nice to hold though, very nice grip. Um, talking about the dashboard, it is very soft material across uh, the whole dashboard. And the back over here, you can tell that they were probably skimping a little. Um, but overall, it looks very cool. Um, <clears throat> let's go back to the steering wheel. We have our various controls over here, uh, where you control the volume from, skipping songs, um, return home. Same over here, we have our adaptive cruise control um, and we can see that in the EX trim, we do have the eight inch display. Uh, this EX trim does come with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You do have to get the EX for that, for those functions. So I definitely recommend upgrading to the EX trim. Um, but you do have some tactile buttons and we have a volume control over here. Um, we have some buttons on the screen as well. And <clears throat> overall, just a very clean design. And we have heated seats, so that's very nice. Um, we do have the cloth seats in the EX trim, but I like that it still comes with this function. Uh, we have the economy button and we have the snow button. This is to save gas. I don't usually use that um, when you're driving in the snow obviously your hazard lights coming down over here very nice and spacious as you can see um, we have some wipes over here so this is a very large compartment for a water bottle or hand sanitizer coming this way we have two massive cup holders very nice storage area over here for change as well opening this a very nice compartment we have a lot of connectivity we have the aux port we have our USB over here as well. Looking at the bottom over there, we have a power outlet, um, a 115 volt, and we have another uh, USB over here. 
coming to this over here the armrest um i wish this was kind of bigger um my arm feels okay but i wish it was a little longer and as you can see on the other side all the same at the top we do get a sunroof and coming over here this is our sunglasses holder and this is our sunroof control obviously um coming down here again we do have the dvd player in this vehicle so that is a very nice feature what makes the honda odyssey so great are all the standard features on our ex trim we get a blind spot in from uh, information we get smart entry we get collision mitigated mitigation a braking system multi-angle rear view camera road departure mitigation system power front seats uh, bluetooth streaming audio intelligent traction management with snow mode there's just so much let's take a look at the backup camera put it into reverse press it down like that very nice backup camera as you can see it's very clear and we have some options of the view and i like how it takes up the whole screen all right guys so opening the rear we do have the magic sliding doors on this vehicle as you can see we do have kids seats in the vehicle right now but it is very large and you have a lot of space we have two door pockets on the back we also get these headphones for our entertainment system so you can block out your children whatever they're watching but just make sure you make sure you look at what they're watching we also get two large cup holders in the middle a lot of connectivity again at the bottom we have two usbs um an hdmi looking at the side door panel it is very nicely crafted we also get these tint screens to pull up in case you want to hide the sh if you in case you want to hide the sun from your children looking more at the door panel we have another cup holder we have some storage area you can also control your windows from back there um, the third rows in these vans also actually are very spacious so let me climb in so we also have the tint screens back here very nice um, looking in the third row we have nice material we get vents back here this is where you can plug in your headphones looking at the top we do have reading lights at the top as well two cup holders very nice and big and spacious um, this is the entertainment system I was talking about I like how the vents are built actually into the frame of the vehicle um, it cleans it up over here and it gives Honda the option to put connectivity there just sitting in this vehicle it's very large <laughs> i really like it very comfortable so if you have a family definitely consider getting a minivan so in the second row this is where you control the temperature from uh only the the right uh passenger has control the left does not and looking at the side door panel again very similar material materials to the front so your kids will be enjoying it as well um that's where you control the door from or you can press that button where it says close or open overall just a very nice kid-friendly vehicle all right guys so driving the 2022 honda odyssey um driving this vehicle is very easy you get in and you sort of know what to do uh this is where you control your drive modes from you have uh, drive and sport neutral reverse and park i like the eight inch display it comes with apple carplay android auto the steering wheel uh three nine o'clock positions feel very nice as well one thing i like about minivans is that it doesn't feel like you're driving um anything much different than a car even though it is bigger i like that it is lower to the ground unlike suvs sometimes suvs you feel kind of like oh my god is this going to tilt over but not uh, with the Honda Odyssey. Another thing I like about the Honda Odyssey is it's naturally aspirated engine because it is, um, you know, it, it doesn't have a turbo. So I like that it is all natural and it feels very nice and something that a lot of companies are getting rid of. Uh, the 10 the speed transmission in this vehicle feels very nice between the shifts as well. And this vehicle for the size of it, is quite fast uh you know this is a 0 16 6.9 seconds so it's plenty of power to overtake any vehicle you might want to um 
even when you're merging onto a highway, you feel safe in this vehicle merging onto it. It doesn't feel like you're craving for power, so I really like that. All right, guys, well, that was driving the Honda Odyssey. Um, again, a very easy to drive vehicle, very nice if you have a large family, and I definitely think you should consider this car. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video on the 2022 Honda Odyssey. Um, for the EX trim, you can expect to pay around $35,000 if you move up to the Touring, which has which is fully loaded with the leather seats and everything. Expect around $43,000. So you are paying a pretty penny for this vehicle. However, you get a lot of bang for your buck. And if you have a family, I definitely think you should consider going the minivan route. I think minivans are cool. Um, definitely look into the Honda Odyssey, the Kia Carnival, see which one fits you. Well, if you enjoyed this video, um, please like and subscribe and comment below. Thank you.